I want to talk about the invisible collar. What does that mean? It means if you've been in any kind of BDSM relationship and it's been really cool because you get in that subspace and subspace is the place where you get all foggy because your endorphins, people describe it as, you know, when they've been running marathons, they get in that, that sort of euphoric state. I don't know. I've never run a marathon in my life, so I wouldn't know that. But if you have had that, that kink where you've given up power and taken power, often there's been pain involved, but usually there's pleasure involved and it gets you this high. It's addictive. Anything that affects the pleasure centers of your brain can be addictive. And then you realize that this potential partner, this dom, isn't treating you as well as you want to and you give them up. Except the invisible collar means that they can crook their little finger and you come running back to them. You see it with exes. It's a great video talking about, um, you know, what that, that chemical soup does to you. And I thought she did a really great job. Find it on TikTok. But it's about what happens when you get rid of somebody is you're addicted. Like your, your brain learns neuroplasticity and it wants to be attached. It really extra happens when you've been in a coffee-ish relationship and it's been good, right? There's lots of guys that will not give up um, a toxic woman because the coffee is good and they don't think they're going to get better. And it's really hard and really alluring. So what you have to do in order to fight that is A, cut them out of your life. No, hey, how are you? No Facebook links. Cut them out. I have guys, you know, when we bring, we, you know, rip up pictures. Number two is you have to have other people. Your brain wants a new habit. So I tell people, get out there. The best thing you can do is next. How do we get more? How do I have new people? It may not be the same and you may miss that person but you got to do it. I've had like three clients in the last little while whose partners have gone back to, you know, potentially cheating exes because of this. And it's a thing. They call it the invisible collar. You may not have heard about it, but I bet you you've experienced it. I'm Sue. I'm a clinical coffee SEX therapist. You can find me at sexwithsue.com or join my duckling group. We are the ducklings.com. I got more.